A workstation is needed for each user who will be completing system setups, daily tasks, data entry, and running reports. Use the Workstations program to set up workstations for each user that will be using the Jonas Activity Management System. Each workstation will need to have a unique terminal ID assigned to it. Select New to set up a new workstation, or select an existing workstation to review or make edits to it. In the General tab, give the workstation a unique terminal ID with a max of five characters. It is recommended to maintain the same terminal ID code in both the Jonas Club Management POS system and in the Jonas Activity Management system for consistency. Use the description field to either describe the workstation's function, for example, self-check-in workstation, or the person it belongs to, for example, Bob's terminal. This will help distinguish one workstation from another. This field has a max of 30 characters. Choose how you want to look up this workstation. This can be set to by network workstation name or by the user ID. Depending on your choice, the next field will update to workstation name or Windows username. If you are configuring the terminal on the actual workstation, then you can use the workstation icon next to this field to read the Windows terminal and or currently logged in user information to fill the field with the required information. If you are not on the actual terminal, i.e. you are setting them all up from one machine, then you will need to enter the workstation window's name or the network user who will be logging into the terminal in the field. This information needs to exactly match the window settings. Specify the workstation type. POS terminals are usually touchscreens. If this workstation will normally only be used by one Jonas Activity Management user, you can select a default user from the lookup list for a pre-filled user ID field at the login screen. For locations where several users will be accessing the workstation, select the None option. If you had chosen the touchscreen option for this workstation, you can also specify if the computer has no physical keyboard attached, so the program will know to expect input from the screen and not a keyboard at certain points. Indicate the local working directory field to the Jonas Club Management POS system terminal, which will usually be your JCWIN data folder. If this workstation will be used for activity tracking, flag this field accordingly. Flagging this field will enable the Activity Tracking tab. Use the Devices tab to specify any devices such as cache drawers, RFID tags, barcode scanners, etc. that will be used on this workstation. Optionally enter a description for the device, select the type of device, as well as the device manufacturer slash model, make sure the device is set as active, and configure and test the device accordingly. Use the Notes tab to optionally enter any notes for this workstation. If this workstation will be used for activity tracking, select the Activity Tracking tab. If this workstation is solely used for self-check-in, enable only used for client check-in. Enter a password to exit the self-check-in screen. The system will prevent closing the check-in screen unless the correct password is entered. Do this to prevent access to any other program on this workstation. Determine how long the check-in screen will remain open during the check-in process and after the check-in is complete. The default for both fields is 0 minutes and 3 seconds. Select Show Member Number Entry field if you want to allow members to check in by entering their member number on screen. Select the Show Numeric Keyboard Only field if your member number system uses only numbers instead of alphanumeric codes. Using a numeric keyboard can help speed up member number entry. You can customize the check-in screen layout in the Other Settings section. The Member Name Display setting dictates how members will see their names on the self-check-in screen. To enable displaying the member number on the self-check-in screen, select the Show Member Number field. Use the default Monitoring Area field to attach a monitoring area to the workstation. Once you have configured the workstation, select Save and repeat this process to set up any additional workstations that are required. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.